this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this eye cord. Now I've used it for the stem of this crochet pumpkin, but you can use it for many other projects like bags, home decor and garments. So stay tuned and I shall show you how to create the eye cord. So you want to begin by creating your slip knots and you can do this in whichever method you prefer. Go ahead and insert your crochet hook. I'm going to start off by chaining three. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through. So we have three loops on the hook, and we're going to insert some stitches into the second and the third chain. So we skip this loop on the hook, we skip the first chain, and we're going to insert our hook into this um, second chain. Pull on your tension a little bit because we don't want this chain on here to go too loose. Grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll now have two loops on the hook and then insert your hook into that third chain. Grab the yarn and pull it through. You have three loops on the hook. Now here's where it gets a little bit scary and a little bit tricky, but just take your time with it. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and remove two loops off the hook and then you're going to just kind of hold on to them um, here for the moment so you don't lose them. We want to grab the yarn, pull that nice and tightly and um, pull it through that loop, that first loop on the hook. Then what we're going to do is reinsert that second loop onto the hook, grab the yarn and pull it through one loop and then reinsert into the third chain and then grab the yarn and pull it through that loop. And then we're going to repeat that again. So take these loops off the hook, grab them so you don't lose them, and then grab the yarn and pull through that loop on the hook. Put that second loop back on the hook grab the yarn and pull through that loop and then put that third loop back on the hook and grab the yarn and pull through and we're simply going to repeat this over and over again. So taking those loops off, pinching them so that you're not losing them, grab the yarn and pull through, put that second loop back on the hook Remember it can be a little bit tricky, so just take your time. Yarn over and pull through that loop and then put the third loop back on the hook and yarn over and pull through that loop. Now for this particular project that I've done, uh, that is all I have done um, in terms of the stem. I'm going to add a few more rows so that you can see what it looks like when it's a little bit longer, but then what I shall do is show you how to finish this off. Okay, so I've added a few more rows to this cord and you can see that it is looking really, really nice. Notice as well with this particular cord, you get a little bit more stretch. So if you were using this for a piping on a cushion, for example, you can get a little bit more movement to it um, as opposed to the other cord, which I have done a tutorial for. I'll leave a link in the description box below. It's a little bit more robust, so it's good for handles and different things like that. So this is how you're going to finish off your cord. You're simply going to yarn over and pull through all of those loops on the hook. And then you can chain one and snip off the end and then sew the end into the center of the cord. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to go back to the pumpkin tutorial if you are creating that. I'll leave a link in the description box below. But don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. And I shall see you again next time. Bye.